Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to put your sash on so you can practice at home so when you come into class um, you should have it on ready for class. So unwrap it like so, very simple. You want about that much roughly down by your side and that tail hangs on your left hand side. So nice and simply you put that tail to your left hand side and then you wrap it around your body like so. And once you've gone around once, it will help, should hold it in place. And two times. So for me, because I'm a bit rounder than some of you, I'll go around twice. Um, if you're quite young, it'll probably go around you three times. And then all you need to do is tie it exactly the same as a shoe knot, the first part of it, and then do it again. So you do two shoe knots like so. There you go. And then you get the longer one of the two, which is this one and then wrap it underneath the knot, underneath the sash, and over and down, so it hides the knot. And then, once you've done it a few times, that's not bad, you should be able to get the same length, and that ties up the knot, hides the knot out of the way, and it should look something like that, nice and flat, as my beautiful camera assistant shows you. And then, when you've finished your class, and you take your sash off, don't do what most people do, and that is take it off, throw it in your bag, because then it crumples up. So the next time you do it, it's like wearing a t-shirt that hasn't been ironed. So when you finish with it, just put it around your fingers, same as your hand wraps, and just wrap it up like that. So next time you come to use it, it should still be nice and flat, and you haven't got a fight trying to unravel it, or iron it, etc., etc. So that's how you do a sash. Thanks for watching, see you soon.